one came out as werewolf form as well, yeah, I guess. Assuming he must forget that he was a werewolf. How the hell am I gonna get down? Asked and answered. Wait, was it him that killed that line character that's already died? Is it hit? Was it him? Could Leo have been actually? Jess or something her name was? Where the hell are my clothes? Yeah, hold on a minute. After he, so like after she got chomped on, would she know something to her okay. werewolf? Okay. Gotta find more. Maybe. Oh, j <laughs> Fuck you, hell. I bought that outfit as well. Where is that? Oh fuck. That is. Wait, is she alive or...? Cause I mean, she technically did get bit off a zombie. There's a, no zombie, a werewolf. So technically... But she doesn't look like she's got any bite marks on her. Like she doesn't look like she's been torn apart. So I mean, I want to know if she has seen him or wake her up. Prada. Yeah, like stick and Prada and be like, you did. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. What's happening, but welcome in, bud. We're on chapter 10 now. I don't know if I've updated the title or no, but I need to potentially get that changed over. Just try to think what way we go now. Follow your mark. Oh, I did notice that, by the way. Fucking, I seen my emails this morning, I was like, who the hell is this person? Yeah, I looked at the e yeah, I looked at the actual name on the account. I was like, oh, it's probably like Valkyrie alt accounts or something. So I was like, all right, nice one. So we're actually only 25, 25 followers away from hitting 200, which we are looking to hit in the next two weeks. Even at least at 25, at least 12 in the next two weeks. 12 in the next week, and then basically I'm looking to get at least 200 followers before I hit 30, which fucking sucks. Cause that's like a week on Monday. She must have come through the gate. Well, she's running about in bare feet. Fair play, him. Need your tips off. Fuck <laughs> your day off with a cat. Fuck off. <laughs> No, man, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, 
Is out tonight, man. Oh, is it? I thought that was meant to be out tomorrow. Depending on when it gets out, I might just live react to it. Don't know yet. But at least he's no fucking freaking out while he's in the water, so that's the zombie stuff. No, no zombie. Yeah, old stuff. Seems to be where I'm at. I think they did say Phil Dank and we're talking about. I swear that person was talking about doing something on Friday, so I think I remember it was the day, the day is maybe his day, I think. Or some, something like that, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to call it a few days. Second person's potentially been axed up. I'm not happy, but I was hoping to have everybody alive for this play run. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. I like his. I like his right, well, opinion. We're good but now. I also agree with her because she's actually just like, no, that's it. These fuckers we know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Does it look like there's anything that's worthwhile to even look at? So might as well just go upstairs. Oh, by the way, uh, Val, you'll never guess who appeared in chat earlier on. Big Salmon. Big Salmon himself. Oh, the Big Salmon Salmon Ellie. Yeah, I'm right now, the Big Salmon came in. He was only in for like maybe five minutes and then he said he was like I got a bounce so I was like alright fair enough. I usually have to gym. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier. When you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother I guess? Right. To be fair though, I did see a picture of Big, Big Salmon on uh, Insta the other day, man. Fuck me, man. Big Salmon's getting jacked. Is he still working at the... that garden place, you know? Instagram filter through wonders. <laughs> nah, man. There wasn't any filter added on to it. Uh, let's hit with a big thumbs up. Big cheese on bad. I think you've done like his new personal best or something. I was like, personal How long has this guy been here? Ooh. He looks creepy. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. Oh, I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> have it just planted right up there. Uh, prepare for attack. Shop. I thought it was a garden shop that you worked at. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. Yeah. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Life. Enough meets for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. 
two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> that would have been me. <laughs> just be like, uh, I don't know the words for this shit. I've been here long enough, but I don't remember it. <laughs> oh. Wolves are coming, we're gonna fight them. I'm coming down the chimney like Santa. Showtime, motherfuckers. Where are we getting next? Oh, Jacob. <sighs> Been running about in the woods for a while for God knows how long. Fuck this whole night. I wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Oh, he's Stop been a big simp, man. No, oh, Jacob, we're not meant to have this, son, son. Baby. We're not meant to have this. <gasps> Turnberry, Turnberry yesterday for a job fair. Barely anyone showed up, got a free, got free food. Bro, oh, that's not bad. Is that the little Trump hotel thing you were telling me about? <laughs> you like shit, you just feel like that on the back. <laughs> oh god damn. Yeah. Wait, so how far is the Trump hotel for your gaff? Like, it can it be that far then? Keep it together, not long till morning. No, you'll be happy to see Abby still alive. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. What the? Oh. 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 They're angry, boys. They're angry. I just got my new polish off. I'm not in the <laughs> Wait, are you actually well? Wait. Are you actually well that unironically or actual theories? I don't even know any well. Nah, we wait, we wait, we wait and bowl this enough. Sorry, that wouldn't well sound like that. Silver shells. If I can time this right. Go with the beat. Come on. Yeah, we can't make a fucked up feel. Scary things behind you. Don't look back. Oh, Jesus! Alright, fell off. <laughs> oh, no, he's back. Monsters can't do that, damn right. Uh, no, we, we run. Caitlin! This way! Where the hell do you go? Over here, Caitlin! Caitlin, we don't have time for that, come on. Ah, uh, fam, we got 
So what exactly happened six years ago? Ah, son of a bitch. It was a fire Not that happy. wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which yeah. I just put together is silas oh shit it's a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him burn sounds about right what happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh it kind of does actually we need to know what we're up against at least what we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found no matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? He might be crazy, chat. Are we there yet? You're okay. Thank you, something Been better. Ah, seen that yeah. I'll, I'll look at, I'll respond to that stuff later on. Over here. Got some blood. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's a stupid question to ask somebody. Leads through there. That really is stupid to ask them about. That, that's fucking retarded. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. 
Wait, did we run over him, or, or what's... This is where we went off the road two months ago. Ooh. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Why she want to shoot him? I don't understand why. Normally? I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. Ah, oh, so we that's what they were pouring over my faces was werewolf blood. Ah. You ready to end? Let's fucking do this. Fair enough. Fair enough. Go team. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? It's pretty old. A big old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Alright, Tobin. I don't know. I don't remember this lady. She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas. The wolf boy. I'm sorry, but if your son's a wolf, died in the fire. And you know why? Take him out. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Becky is the ghost lady. How did the fire start? It's been the one hiding him. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You, you have, have to head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? Set up a blaze, didn't she? Just wanted help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. That way, did it? No. Just within minutes, everybody was dead. You never see Hayburn, Liza, the whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. Caleb got bit in the process. That's why we've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Boom, roasted. Roasted and toasted. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Put my brimstone charge while I'm at it. Don't blame me the game.
Oh, oh fuck, I just nearly spat my drink out with fear there. God Shit. damn it. I'm sorry, but that was... Close. We must be close. <laughs> Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. God damn it. I just literally spat my drink over my one off. Jesus. <laughs> oh... What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. I like how the subtitles just appeared once it was on his, like once it was back on Nefu. Subtitles appeared for a wee second and then when it came back to him, it just came back up. Oh. Jesus Christ. My God. He's just been sitting chilling there. Why would you have a werewolf son, no man? What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot the stupid girl! Shoot. Do we do it, chat? Do we shoot him? Quick. Any dancers? Do we shoot him? Do we do it? Do we not do it? So I saw him blasting. That's the answer we wanted. Bang! That's all we needed confirmation. Bang! To be fair though, that should in theory start ending that Please, or it's just, him that started up. Let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Aye, that was dark. Jeez oh. Oh, is that an achievement now? The white moon? Oh, she's not going to be happy that we kill our kid, is she? She's not amused. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. That's charming. She's pissed. Oh, I could hide through the wind of the brown. Oh, you should got a pulse. <laughs> the six o'clock alarm would never ring. What's it ring? And I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it's Sleep, oh, sleep, yep. She did, she did. Let it me to a day. Bobby survived. Of me as a white 
night on the skin. Now you know how to get Ah, bro. Boom. So we lost three councils. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean? That sucks. To a daydream believer. Oh, no, wait, there was like four. Aye, because Max died as well. Oh, we got Abby alive first time. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean? To a Bang in tune, man. Caleb. I'm trying to remember what one was, what one was Caleb again. We broke the cost, yeah. At least we broke it. What's going on? Summer camp oh. tragedy. Freak. Bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anthony? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially stuff. when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow mm -hmm. your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. Go on, I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. <laughs> Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Where's the Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous <laughs> donation. Okay, you've always <laughs> promised me since day one of this podcast that Rock if you could see man. true evidence, oh. you will consider all options. Uh, I think right? we've like an F Did you not the, say, the, the, the that? say that? Yes. I mean, I know Knowing you for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, 
We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like? Slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Mm -hmm. Get your I own like keys. I you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you? What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more uh, concerned with murderers. Yeah, I'm done the right man. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. Ooh, yeah. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. Oh, what I makes think. you drop your camera? <laughs> uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled. Uh, in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp really then okay well then shouldn't this be public knowledge why aren't the hackett's prime suspects exactly my point maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were is it all just a big cover-up operation yeah well, yeah right that's there. where it falls apart a bit in my opinion so we've got to talk a little more about the hackett family right so these guys are like the heritage landowners right mm-hmm yep their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just <laughs> like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. Wartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes. You say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Is that like their ad type? <laughs> that was so sure. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light lightning. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Ooh. Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, 
but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you're just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. It's like a dark pun. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, <laughs> consider my disbelief suspended for now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later. But that's where the trail in. goes a little cold. What about the family? Can they verify it? No. In fact, they've completely gone to ground. Nobody's heard from them since. Who can blame them? Innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. <laughs> okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't... I don't want oh, you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. That will check that and I'll Actually, you, you might be a little that, we'll freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait. Is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely oh, this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Yeah, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, my God. I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're, <laughs> I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest, and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! <clears throat> this is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? We gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and oh, see how it all played out. Could, yeah, but what fun would that be? Mm. Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You mm. just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. 